India's most trusted brand Amul serves a daily dose of vegetarian cheese to Indians in various flavors. From grandmothers to children, cheese is loved by all. Cheese which we relish every day is processed in the most modern, fully automated and state-of-the-art Amul food factories. World's most loved food product, cheese, has a fascinating processing journey. Let's take a tour of one such factory to know how the cheese is made. From the first drink in the morning to the last meal, since 1946, Amul has been serving people of India and even outside India. Amul, the taste of India, is the largest producer of vegetarian cheese in the world. It tantalizes the taste buds by providing a variety of high-quality vegetarian nutritive cheese like cheddar, mozzarella, gouda, emmental in various forms like cheese blocks, cubes, slices, cheese tin, cheese spread and many more in many flavors. Cheese which is a rich source of protein, calcium and phosphorus is used in making various food items such as pizza, burger, salads and many Indian traditional foods like cheese paratha and cheese dosa. Cheese is probably the only food item in the world which has 2000 different varieties and is consumed across the world. 20 million metric tons of cheese is produced worldwide each year and people who love cheese are called turophiles. Let's explore how it is made in a modern Amul factory. High quality cheese is only possible when the milk which is used to make it is also high quality standard. This is one of those many dairy farms under the vast network of the famous Amul model of milk producers cooperative societies. Amul ensures only the best milk is used to make the cheese. And this assurance of best quality milk comes from its 3.6 million milk producers owners spread across thousands of villages in India. Every day, milk producers walk to the nearby by milk collection centers with 21 million liters of milk. Amul facilitates village milk societies with chilling units and quality testing equipment to maintain high milk quality at village level itself. Every day, lakhs of liters of milk from hundreds of societies reach cheese plants through special tankers. And this milk is transported under low temperature. This definitely can be called as the Amul's Milky Way. Milk reaches the processing plant in a couple of hours, twice a day, round the year, uninterrupted and processed in its various factories located across India. At the milk reception bay, a trained factory supervisor welcomes the sealed milk trucks. Here, these milk containers are connected to pipes, through which milk reaches inside the pre-treatment area. Once truck is at the bay, before unloading, sample of raw milk from each tanker is taken for lab testing so that milk quality can be tested and recorded for various parameters such as fat, solid not fat also known as SNF, bacterial load etc. Computerized milk testing is done so quickly that within a few minutes results are made available. Once quality is approved, milk moves from the collection bay to the raw milk storage silos within no time for further processing in a fully automatic plant. Automatic processing plant is monitored by computers. Just a couple of people manage almost 30 lakh litres of milk processing at this section. This is incredible. I agree with you. This is really incredible. Next, milk moves from raw milk storage to the processing section. It goes through chiller and the automatic bacteria clarifier machines to filter out bacteria from the milk. A separator removes extra fat from the milk before the milk heads to the pasteurization stage. That's cool. Until now I thought cheese is fattening. But now I know that Amul makes fat controlled cheese. Next in the automatic pasteurization process section, milk is heated at 72 degrees centigrade for 15 seconds to make it almost zero bacteria milk. It's like a shock treatment. Now milk is stored for a few hours in huge silos at chilling temperature. It's like waiting in the queue to become cheese. The next journey for this milk is the cheese plant. To keep cheese processing plant bacteria free, plant staff has to go through air chambers before entering the plant. Here air blows away all dust particles and foreign material, literally blows away dust particles. In the cheese plant too, computer handles most of the process automation. It decides what to do if there is any problem in the production line. Barring a few steps like culture and rennet mixing, rest all are automated. 
The very first step in cheese making process is mixing culture into the milk at a certain temperature. Like humans, cheese too has to have a culture. Oh, that's an interesting observation. A specific quantity of culture is added to the milk. Culture acidifies the milk at certain temperature, like we make curd at home. Culture also enhances the characteristic flavor in the cheese. Now this cultured mixed milk is mixed thoroughly in these vats by blades which are fitted inside. This process goes on for 30 to 45 minutes. Let's know more about the culture. A cheese culture is a group of specific bacteria put together for making a specific cheese. Cultures rapidly raise the acidity of the milk by consuming the lactose, also known as milk sugar, and convert it into lactic acid. Starter cultures also aid in development and preservation of the flavor and texture of the cheese. Next 30 minutes, vegetable sauce rennet is mixed into it and left for some time to coagulate at 30 to 32 degrees centigrade. First, it is dissolved into the water and then added. Amul makes 100% vegetarian cheese because it uses only vegetable source rennet, which is a one-of-a-kind enzyme obtained through biotechnological process. Unlike other imported cheese available in the market, Amul cheese is 100% vegetarian cheese. Wow, that's wonderful. I didn't know this. I'm a pure vegetarian and now I can also have cheese. Once milk is coagulated like homemade curd due to enzymatic action, an expert checks its suitability for the next stage. Oh, he really cuts the curd. That's the way it should be tested. Satisfied, he gives a green signal to start the next processing step. Curdy milk is then artistically and lyrically cut into small pieces in vats. This is magical and fascinating to watch and it is like an opera. Thoroughly cut curd is continuously stirred and cooked by adding hot water to the jacket of the vats for 40 to 60 minutes. Next, solid curd is separated from watery residue which is known as whey. Whey is drained out for other process and solid portion is taken away to make cheese. This segregated curd is further milled and cut in a cheese master chamber. Next, over the well-mingled solid curd, a moving salt sprayer completes salting process. Salt helps to improve the flavor of the cheese. Also, it reduces acidity and unwanted bacterial growth. Now, it's time to have some pressure, real pressure. Solid curd material is pressed in vertical compression towers, which make any remaining way to seep out and allow solid curd to acquire block shape. These pressed large blocks of 20 kilograms are placed in food grade plastic bags and a journey starts. A metal detector en route to labeling and weighing station checks the blocks for purity. A block's journey does not get completed without taking a holy dip in hot water for a few seconds. This makes the block further hygienic and bacteria free. Once bathed, blocks reach the weighing and labeling station. They are given an identity. After all, identity is very important for everyone's life. They are labeled with batch, date and weight details. Blocks are now kept in plastic crates and properly stacked on the pallets. From here, the cheese blocks journey start for curing, which we can call as storage for 4 to 6 months at 8 to 10 degrees centigrade in huge temperature controlled storehouse. Cold storage where curing happens is almost 44 feet high. Manual as well as fully automatic forklifts and storage systems are used to stack and remove these pallets. Cheese curing is also called alternatively as cheese maturation. It's an important process in cheese making. Curing induces distinct flavor of the cheese and through the modification of ripening agents determines the features such as taste, texture of many different variety of cheeses. Oldest commercially available cheese in the world was cured for 40 years. Wow, it almost sounds like double life imprisonment. Let's come back to cheese. Once cheese blocks are matured, they start a new journey and are taken to the processing area. Here cheese is transformed into various products like cheese cubes, cheese slices, cheese spreads, tin cheese etc. Cured cheese is now called cheddar cheese. Do you know why it is called cheddar cheese? Mm, let me google it. I'll tell you. It originates from Cheddar village in England and so it is named as cheddar cheese. 
Now this cheddar cheese batch goes through the taste buds of an expert tester who green signals to move the batch to the next stage of processing. Probably the grader is the most critical person in the whole process. Probably healthy too as he eats lots of cheese every day while testing. Now this cheddar cheese is ready to go on a tedious transformational journey. First, they travel on a cozy conveyor to a grinder. Grinder is nothing but a crusher which transforms blocks into fine shredded noodles like shape for easy mixing and melting. Shredded cheese is blended and some emulsifying salts and permitted preservatives are added. These ingredients have strict parameters in order to meet the required moisture, fat content, salt and pH value of the final products as per the food standards of our country. Now this garnished cheese is heated and continuously mixed to make a homogeneous melted form which can easily be sent through pipes to various packing stations. This molten cheese is the base ingredient for making a variety of cheese products like cheese cubes, slices and spreads. This automatic cube packing line can pack almost a million cheese cubes per day. Food grade packing foil which is made of aluminium is fed from one end from a roll. Cutting section cuts it to the size in neat and clean manner. Packing material preforms are made in a die and filled with molten cheese and covered from all sides in perfect harmony. These cheese cubes move over a conveyor belt and form an interesting visual symmetry like an army literally ready to attack our taste buds. An alert eye keeps a watch on the flow of cubes for its shape. This is the Amul way of keeping the alert watch. Looking at the cubes on a moving conveyor must be a head spinning and one of the toughest jobs on earth. Surely it's not made for everyone. Next, these cubes are aligned in a bunch of 10 numbers and a paper sheet is placed between two sets. Cups of air suction picks up colourful outer packing boxes and marches them forward to meet the cubes. At the other end, cubes move forward and a folding and wrapping machine wraps the colourful packing box around these cubes. Now packed cube boxes march on a curvy conveyor which resembles an expressway. From here, cheese pack's journey starts towards a spiral cooling chamber. We at Amul make 720,000 cheese cube every day. Let's see other processing and packing lines where cheese blocks of 500 grams are made. In this section, first the hot molten cheese is poured in a vessel close to the filling and packing section. An aluminium food grade packing material is cut and pressed by a die to give block packing shape. Hot melted cheese is then filled in this block shaped foil through a nozzle. And another arm gently pushes packs to the conveyor belt. An expert factory supervisor watches these moving blocks intensely for any deformity. Next, cheese bricks are placed by a pushing lever in groups of two. Air vacuum cups pick up outer box and place these in a moving system, which is in sync with the coming cheese blocks. This process is fully automatic and works continuously, intelligently. This is almost like an artificial intelligence. Here, colorful outer box dresses up the blocks. These now really look attractive. Once cheese boxes pass through the metal detector tunnel, weight scanner checks the weight of each box. Boxes which do not meet the weight parameters are blown away or we can say thrown out of the processing line. No underweight is allowed to go forward. We at Amul Cheese Factory, we are making daily 60,000 packets. Fascinating that different production and packing lines of the cube and block making run simultaneously and in perfect harmony they all march towards the spiral cooler. Here in the spiral cooler, cheese packs literally go up to cool themselves. The spiral cooling chamber maintains temperature around 4 to 6 degrees centigrade. Every box remains here for around an hour. This really cools all the packs before packing in cartons and the cold storage stage. While in the processing section, machines and trained staff remain busy 
plant technician keep close watch on the process automation so all machines run smoothly and production meets its daily targets. Cheese slice making process is also very interesting. Cured cheddar cheese block with 4 to 6 month aging are poured into a crusher to make these soft and easily meltable. Next, this crushed cheese is poured into a vessel where it's melted by steam heating. Steam runs around the vessel and within a few minutes, it heats and melts the cheese kept inside it. Many such vessels in a row keep on melting cheese around the clock to feed the hungry slice-making processing line uninterrupted. Mouth-watering aroma and the colour of molten cheese looks delicious. Once cheese is transformed from solid to molten form, it is poured into another vessel. From here, molten cheese is sucked and fed to a processing and packing line. This line, which is fully automatic, food-grade, thin plastic non-sticky strip roll forms a tube and hot molten cheese fills it. Two rollers press the filled tube. The strip passes through chilled water. This gives required hardness. Cold air is also blown on the strip. This bath and cooling continues till the strip reaches to the cutting stage. This is like a cold water shower before getting a good packing. Cutting section of the machine cuts these cheese strips into slices, seals ends and counts as per the required packing numbers. 5, 10 or 20 slices stacks come out from the cutting machine for packing. Next, these stacks move to a packing machine which wraps a printed outer plastic cover around these slices. Various count size packing can be done in this line. It's really fascinating to see the colourful packing coming out from the packing line in an orderly queue. It has some learning for us too. These consumer packs are further packed in a carton, marked and palletized for storage before sending to the market. At Amul Cheese Plant, we are making 10 kilometers long cheese ribbon every day. Amul tin packed cheese is also very popular, particularly with the Indian Army. Tin cheese reaches far flung areas of India. Hot molted cheese is sucked from the surge vessel and filled in the tins through a filling machine to the perfect weight measure. Once lid is placed and sealed, an online printer stamps batch number and other details on the bottom of the tin. Next, these tins are carefully taken to further packing on a dancing conveyor happily. At Amul, we make 32,000 processed this tin per day. Cheese spread is Amul's another very popular product line. It is made with soft cheese, cheddar cheese and common salt. The process of filling and packing is almost similar to tin cheese, except that instead of tin, plastic tubs are used. Unlike bathtub, these are like small ice cream cups. Hot molten mix of cheese is filled and hot sealed with printed foil. Cheese spread is true to its name. It is soft and easy to spread on foods. We prepare 50,000 cups of Amul cheese spread every day. Finally, we now travel along the pizza cheese process, which is called as mozzarella cheese. One thing which makes mozzarella cheese different from others is that it is made from fresh, curdy, solid material and not by cheddar cured blocks. Mozzarella generally does not require curing and belongs to the pasta filata family. Mozzarella melts when heated and forms a characteristic fibrous structure, giving the required stretching properties desired on pizzas. The very first step in the mozzarella process is getting fresh, solid curdy material from the vat. Curd is placed in a hoop to form a solid mass. Fun begins now. Cheese is cooked, stretched and kneaded until a smooth, shiny, high plasticky paste is formed. The process is known as fat formation. Next, this hot plastic curd is extruded into mozzarella molds of desired shape and weight. 
molded cheese then enjoys a long swim in a tunnel full of chilled salt solution which is called brine. During traveling, cheese molds absorb salt as well. Intermittently, these molds are sprayed with salt brine solution as well through nozzles. In the tunnel, floating cheese molds create an artistic pattern naturally. I can say that this literally is cheesy art. After a good long swim and a few showers along the way, cheese molds now head to the packing section. An elevated conveyor ends their fun and pulls them away from the brine tunnel and places them on another conveyor which takes them to the packing machines. Now is the time for the mozzarella cheese to dress up. Next, mozzarella cheese molds get arranged in plastic containers and slowly move towards the sealing machines. A colourful printed poly sheet waits for these containers and as soon as these reach close, poly sheet fully seals it. Sealed mozzarella cheese containers now come out in a group of three musketeers and march ahead with pride towards one more metal detector to prove their purity. After this, they take a turn and get separated for packing in the bigger cartons. This mozzarella cheese is sent for storage. Amul factories have stringent quality checks and control systems at cheese pre-production, in-process production and post-production level. Samples at various stages of cheese productions are taken and are tested at quality assurance labs for various parameters. 100% perfect cheese is supplied to consumers which meets various national food standards. Last but the very important stage of cheese production line is final packing for delivery. Cartons are properly palletized and marked. After this, these are taken to a receiving dock, which is a fully automated receiving and delivery system platform for storage, where the computer decides where to store the pallets in 4 to 6 degrees centigrade temperature cold storage. A complex algorithm is used by this automated system to decide where to place for storage and from where to pick up for delivery. Once the computer takes a decision, a telescopic forklift keeps the pallets. It almost has a zero possibility of any error. Finally, the technology has made life much easier for receiving and delivery staff. This system really deserves a salute. Chi starts its final long journey across the country in refrigerated trucks to various destinations. Amul cheese is present in small shops to modern malls and food stores is served on the food plates and kitchens of the Indian consumers who identify the taste of cheese with Amul cheese. <laughs>